Okay, in this video, I'm just going to be quickly showing you uh, something related to a problem that can sometimes come up when you're uh, you're on a VPN, and if you're using Windows 10, and especially if it's an L2TP one, because uh, normally by default with L2TP, it um, you always use the default gateway on the remote network, and that I mean that makes it work and it also helps because it means you can access the machines which are on that other network but the problem is is if you're using something which or any programs which expect you to be in a certain country then of course if that other gateway is in a different country then your internet connection will seem as if it's coming from there so basically the, what I'm going to show you is how to get around that so first I'll show you what the um uh what happens when you normally connect. So basically so if you connect to the VPN All right, so that's connecting. So now if you go into a web browser And then just check to see what the IP address is. Okay, so you notice that this IP address is um uh all right, so so you can see that it begins with ninety two and so if we so that's the actual IP address of when we're on the remote. Now, just to show you that's the case, if I disconnect, so I'm not connected anymore. And then if I refresh, then this is my original IP. So if I, so we connect again. So everything's, so just to check. Yeah, so back on the remote IP again. And so if we try and connect to something on that network, then, yeah, then everything's fine. So we can ping the machine, which is on that remote network. Um, but, as you can see, our, IP, our external IP address has changed. So now if we want to stop that, what we have to do is, so we disconnect and then basically you have to go into the network and sharing center and then change adapter settings. And then for that VPN, if you just go into its properties, then networking, then double click on the IP version four then click on advanced Then basically you remove where it says use default gateway on remote network Then click OK and so so if we just check out IP so now it's the 81 and then if we connect to the VPN so that's connecting and refresh it's still 81 so now you think okay that's victory everything's sorted but now we'll find if you try and ping the remote machine we get no response so that's the reason why that option is by default selected in window in windows is simply because then that allows you to access the remote network so now to get around that, you have to basically do things the hard way and we have to add uh, a route to the, um, uh, to that remote network that you want to connect to. And basically, first, the first thing you have to do is, well, I presume you know what the IP address of your, um, 
how can you say the, the gateway for the VPN is but if you don't what you have to do is open back into network and sharing and then adapt well actually yeah I was too quick there so if you and then on the VPN interface um, all right I'll, I'll do it the proper way then. so when you're on network and sharing just click on the VPN um, in this window and then if you click on details it gives you the IP address of the server. So what you basically have to do is put in a route to that remote network through that server. And so the way we do that is you go in, um, oh, actually, I think you need a, yeah, you need an elevated pr command prompt. So if you get one of them up, an admin one, and then basically you just, type in the the root command then you have to do dash p so it's persistent which means it gets cached in the registry so that when you reboot it's it's still there for the next time you connect and it's add and then it's the ip for the remote network And then it's net mask. And then you have to, the IP that you want it to root by, which of course is the one, which is here. So it's the server IP address. So it's And if we press return on that, it says OK. And so what you should find now is if we try and ping that server that we couldn't connect to once we made that change, yeah, we can connect to it again. So there you go. That's how you get around that. So yeah, if you want to get rid of the default route, it makes things less convenient. But um, there is a workaround for it, and it's just basically you have to add the root manually um, on the using the elevated command prompt. Okay, so hopefully that's um, that will help someone. And basically, um, if you just keep uh, well subscribe, and then I'll just might have some other videos out relating to stuff like this as well. Okay, see you.